Nice going, Sarah. Can I get these things off him? Mechanist. Voice controls the unlocked. Attempting to resume. Attempting to error our level insufficient battery required. Type microcell inquire at salvage yard. Find a micro cell. Damn it. All right. Let's get back to the salvage yard then. Jail. What Anything? can I do for you? I told you I may have a micro cell. Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Yeah. Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So I just brace for a little sticker shock. All right. Talk to jail about making one. I think we could probably make one. Um, yeah. Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Sure, yeah. Crossing my fingers behind my back. I'll do that, yep. Then let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there. All right. Let's have a look here. Doctor, power source, and shield. All right, should be easy enough. What I 
wouldn't give for Can fresh terror brew right now. Freeze dread stuff. Okay. Jail brings Thank in you. ain't the same. I'm really... Yes, I do have the... The ability to make one. Cool. All right, let's get out there and scrounge up some parts, Sarah. Uh, so there's a part there, a part there, and a part way over there. Right. Uh, what's this? There's. Oh, I forgot this planet has slightly low gravity. Ugh. Okay. Yep. Oh, I saw you. Let me up. See another one running around out there. What's oh, that too? Man, these things have tough hides. Just give that incendiary a chance to work. Save a wee bit of ammo. It's a bone, of course I'm not going to eat it. What was that other one? There he is. Right. Back on the hunt. That wasn't me. Isn't there a... Oh, wait, 
get there soon, so. I'm, I'm falling. Salvage, which I'm supposed to sell to him, but okay, there's uh, something shooting's recovery over there. Okay. lives lost when these UC ships were destroyed. Brings back painful memories. Yep. I'm sure it does, Sarah. I mean, it's... It's one of those things, right? No, I'm not buying a goddamn... I don't know what the hell's going on with this right now. Let's go over here. Up. Wasn't planning on it. Okay, was that shield? Shield. All right, okay. You know what? That's just the one's heading back. Well, it's base. Let's go this way. Ah, uh, base. Uh, back to the. the Workshop. This thing comfy. I don't even think these things were on this planet. Hey. So it's shooting. Nice. Alright, let's go back and use the fabricator. If I can find a way out of this hole. Right. Uh, uh. Let's 
let's get Kaiser up and running, shall we? If I just thank you. Hmm. Looks like you missed your calling. Maybe. Thanks, dude. This Where place used to be a repair facility for mechs back during the war. Now we butcher them for fun and put up it. All right. Nice. I guess, I don't know. I kind of like the look in the mechs, actually. I think if you strip them of the weapons, they can make really good mining uh, suits. Or moving large amounts of rubble. Yeah, they could have been repurposed. But, I guess some are battles and weapons of war, and the armistice says, nope, we're gonna get rid of everything, so... There's that. Right, let's get back to Kaiser. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to turn around. I don't want to know what that was. If it ain't biting me in the button, Sarah's no shouting at me. Oh, man, this place is a nightmare to tra traverse. Oh, hello. Oh, there was a... Chills. Reddits. Nice. All right then. Oh, that was a nice wee hidey hole. Yeah. going to be carrying that gooey mess, right? Until I've no room left. Then it's all you. Okay. Wasn't there a door on the side of this thing? Yes, there was. It's just a collapsed part of the ship. I'm hurt on the shoe. Guys, are Battery accepted. Operational power levels restored. Analyzing. Residual damage detected. Impact shielding. Visual systems. Damage within acceptable limits. Thank you for your aid. I must resume my mission. Please, step aside. Um... Major... Uh, well, Hadrian wants you back, dude. 
Uh, but anyway, Mission, what are you talking Weapon about? Weapon disarmament. High risk. So I will ask you to stand aside. Uh, what creatures? Yeah, what creatures? <sighs> Heat leeches. Energy siphoning pests. Nested as I reset from my last altercation. Good to have them gone at long last. Alright. Uh, you're no shape to... You should come out and... I don't think he's going to care about that. We'll have to wait. I cannot leave my mission. Although... Previous attempts to disarm the weapon have been unsuccessful. Additional support may allow me to complete my active mission more quickly, allowing me to leave this place. If you're asking for help, sure, I guess. Yeah, you know what, let's just stop arguing with him, let's just help him. Excellent. We must disarm Unit XW-99. Designation, Siren. Nearer's final Xeno weapon. Are you ready to proceed to the mission site? I'm sorry. You're chasing a real, living Xeno weapon. Why aren't they all wiped out? They will be. Unit 99 has proven a capable adversary. External support, however, seems the most likely path to disarming it. Um. What kills some alien? Uh. Siren things running around. Why is killing this one so important? Yeah, there's a few of them out there, dude. During the colony war, handling of Unit 99 and its peers were among my personal duties. Deploy Unit 99. Defend Unit 99 against hostile forces. But above all, ensure Unit 99 was never used against non combatants. When I was separated from the Xeno Warfare team with the Armistice, Unit 99 and its broodmates remained here, causing many non combatant deaths. So I am here to correct my mistake. I have nearly succeeded in disarming their brood. Only Unit 99 remains. Okay, so these ones were bred to fight, basically, is what you're saying, whereas the ones out there are just natives, I guess? Oh. Uh, if that's the only way I can get you, come on, let's go. Yeah, alright, let's go. Me. Yes. Sorry. Wait, 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 Kaiser. Wait, wait, wait. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Jeez. Go then, dude. all over the place. Although, yeah, maybe you're programmed to serpentine so that, you know, you can avoid enemy fire. Hard I hit if you're moving <sighs> diagonal zigzags. I am detecting Unit 99. But there is a complication. Unit 99 is on the other side of that reach. But it appears to be under the control of hostile forces. Sensors suggest ecliptic 
A mercenary company like Ecliptic would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? Um... So we're on the same page here when you say disarm. Means kill right. Yes, of course it does. Um, I don't like the idea of a frontal assault. I've never liked the idea of that. Wait here, I'll check out my signal. I want him to come with me. Ah, fine. Let's go. I'm in total agreement. A frontal assault sounds like it's in order. Moving out. I'm listening. I really can't figure you out, women. The armor just must stay locked. Oh, hey, yay! Friendly assault, let's go! And the archive, sir, and the armistice. Search the archive. protocols triggered. Beginning the scan. You do need it. I'm going for that high ground if I can get it. Now we'll have to take them all down. Ah, crud. Your name ain't you stayed in there. Oh, crap. Oh crap, no, it's coming. Alright, I need something with a bit more kick. Ow! Kaiser, what the hell are you doing? Don't rapid fire it because it just causes it to kick back. Oh crap! Die, weapon nine and eight, or unit nine and eight. Yeah, you do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time to finish this. Dead. This is over. Die. Yep, it's over. There was your two friends that were out there.
that went well. Well, as well as it can go, I guess. I need to find all these guys. dudes were here. Maybe I should have tackled this myself and just like snuck in. At least the thing would have been stuck in the gate. In the cage. Unless they realised I was here then it would have gotten out. But... Eh? Ooh. That was not worth an expert lot. Uh, we need quite a wide one for down there. Let's do the middle first, so you and that one and that one does the middle. Which means I can then go back to you there. And you there. That one and... That Nice weapon. Too bad it's known something other than a neon, but that's a nice weapon. Uh, a dagger. Yeah. Meh. I heard a computer just open up. Did I miss a computer in there? Oh, I'm dead. What oh, process means what says? Active contracts. Xeno weapon collection. Bio has requested tracking and collecting of siren aliens from Nera states. They want to be able to show it off at parties, have it do tricks. Getting a trainer would probably be cheaper, but if the fool wants to be parted from their money, who are we to stop them? So some insane rich guy wanted that. Xeno weapon. If we're gonna be setting up on Nera anyway, may as well harvest whatever materials we can from the fields. <clears throat> if things don't pan out with the alien, let's make sure this isn't a total loss. Large caliber weapons, ordnance, high caliber ammunition, battery pack. Targeting systems. I'll say they had their shit together anyway. A couple of their folks ran across an old but autonomously functioning combat model A. Collection was attempted, but all 
we came back with was five wounded two of which had to be off world wounded off worlded that does not sit well in my mouth uh, if the opportunity presents itself though the thing could absolutely fetch a pretty penny Yeah. You guys are still scumbags. Specimen cage management. Spe management. Specimen cage is not occupied. Current specimen. Oh god, is this Latin again? Case. Kai. Susa. Lantanus. Designation United Colonies XW99. Specimen cannot be returned to cage once released. Why have I released the specimen? It's already been let loose. Unless that wasn't. Specimen 99, but I'm really sure it was. in here. Anything useful? Other than some beds. You see spe specialists? Eh? The model A as we have in the armory are first class and will respond to any threat on the station. I don't have clearance to know what goes on yeah, but I know well enough that any security breach needs to be eliminated. Given the stakes, I've made it my personal project to bolster their weapon systems and study their call stacks. Alright, I feel like can make some improvements in their programming subroutines too. But when I told the lieutenant, she responded with a grim state of hers. She reminded me that I need to get approval through the proper channels for modding the machines on my own. Okay. Why are you bothering to carry all that junk? Yeah. That's your cue, Sarah. You speak loudly about it, and you get to carry it. Come here. Hmm? Glad to haul whatever you need. All right. Until later. Oh, where's my health? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's get Kaiser. Unit 99 service is now complete. Mine, however, continues. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanon is involved. Uh, possible plague of terror morph attacks. Yeah, we're fighting against aliens, not with them. That... Hmm. That is a cause I would like to be a part of. You are docked at... One of a kind. I will meet you there. Alright, dude. I hope we'll get space for you because... I've yet to find a planet I want to build a... An outpost on. And even though this place is full of... Oh, right. Um, that way. Even though this place is full of... Uh, what's it called? Um, resources. It's also full of very tough aliens.
So I really don't think this place would make a good base. Maybe the moon, the moon just off of uh, New Atlantis. Maybe we'll set up a base there. Just so I've got somewhere I can put people that are on my ship that I don't need on my ship. Like Glenn and Hela. They need somewhere to go. Plus having my own wee place just near New Atlantis would be useful, I think. Maybe. I don't know, maybe something in another, another surface would be better, actually. We'll hold off, anyway. Uh, Geyser, that's a turret, dude. Just go around. You guys better not be attacking Vasco. Wait, you guys aren't. What? Well, nope. Uh, where are you? Come back. Huh. All right. Well, there's no sirens. With the sirens, E. Uh, flocking car head grazer. Oh, yeah, it's got a big horn on his head. Well, that's called a car head. Alright, let's just get out of here. Everybody. Why is my ship abandoned? The heck? Hello? Anything I can help you with, Captain? Oh, there's Barrett. Wait, where is everybody? Okay, um You've got my attention, Captain. Yep. I am freaking out right now. Ship ship. Sidonia Hub. New homestead? Alright, well, I guess I still have. They're still part of my crew, they're just. One's chilling out in Sidonia and. Where the heck is New Homestead? Okay. Ship seems a little. A little empty. Oh well. Let's go. Ready for lift off. Hey, good job. Let's get out there. This never gets old. Let's just, like, just run. 
Run, run, run. Oh, a world like these that I visited. Okay, I don't miss that. He's all talking over each other. That I don't miss. All right, let's uh, get inside. <laughs> I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Oh. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain. You're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the All problem right. we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. What's up? You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Asilis? Is that what they're called? Uh, I don't remember you mentioned something. I don't remember you telling me what they were. Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But oh, in the God. data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, uh... what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Sounds like it could work. It's not that there's, you know, warfare, they're not controlling them, they're not using them, it deploys war. Um, oh, I doubt they're dangerous, they were used for... Uh, can the Sealy really clean up? Oh, world. All our data suggests so. Asilis, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding. Which is important, because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. On worlds where Asilis were present, terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asilis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. I doubt they're dangerous to us. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a terramorph, sure. But Asilis were already spread across the galaxy once before during the colony war. As livestock, they're far mm -hmm. less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. I'm on board. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient. 
but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Hmm. It really does sound living with fire. I mean, one mistake and you wipe out a whole colony of people. Uh, yeah. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Nah. Nah, I'm not, I don't like this idea. And who's exactly is going to be doing all this work? This person that made crubs of the Asili. Yeah. Me, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, I've always seen Inclined that way myself. With either path, though, we're looking at a long term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes tracking skills. Nope. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Okay, so regardless of which route we're going to take, Londinian's where we're going. All right. Uh, Londinian had an Asili population. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the colony war. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Toliman 2, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asilis were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asilis were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing when she says the Achilles home world was where Lindinian was and then there was that big massive outbreak. Are we even allowed on Lindinian? <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. I mean, I don't care if it's above board or not. I want to see this place. Even though it's a problem with terror morphs and I'm going to need to bring a lot of change of trousers, but... I kinda wanna see it. Uh then let's not waste any more time on Denning. Here we come. Uh plan over by Terra Morse uh, suicide. Nah. If this is what it's gonna take. Let's go. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm going to help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. <laughs> I always have my favorite arms on hand. Silenced weapons, Aiden. Way to go. Right. Guess we're off to Londinian. Sarah, make sure I pack extra trousers for the trip, would you? I think I'm gonna need them. <laughs> 